Lincoln Center, More Than Just Performing Arts, by J.R. Sandus. Lincoln Square is located in New York City and can be seen highlighted in the picture above. It is a fairly small area inhabited by Puerto Ricans and African Americans. The Lincoln Center is one of the best performing arts places in the world. However, a lot of things had to happen in order for it to be built. Before Lincoln Square was made into a performing arts paradise, many families called it home. Many families, most of which were Puerto Rican descent, lived together in their own tight-knit community. The housing in Lincoln Square was not the best, but the families did not mind this. It was their home, and no one could take this away from them. So they thought. Living quarters were tight, as over 3,000 families lived in this small area. Housing was cheap, but families still worked hard to continue living there. These Puerto Rican families were of the working class, usually working in nearby businesses. Because of this, strong relationships were built within the community because they would see many neighbors every day. As you can see in this picture, the Puerto Rican density within Lincoln Square was very high. This happened because white inhabitants began leaving the city for the suburbs, opening up space for them to move in. They moved in large groups, as seen. Marcy Sachs, an author, described it as, quote, a honeycomb, like a beehive, filled with people, stuffed to the gill. The Philharmonic Hall lost its lease to its current building, so they began looking for a place to relocate. Lincoln Square was a popular choice, and in the end, is what they decided on. There was only one problem, the inhabitants. Slums found in New York were being cleansed during the 1950s and 60s thanks to the Housing Act of 1949. This allowed areas to be labeled as slums and have them become urban renewal projects. One of these was Lincoln Square. The idea was to renovate the area to lure white inhabitants back. Lincoln Square was labeled a slum in 1955. This is when the urban renewal project was announced. This means forceful relocation of all the families who called Lincoln Square home. This idea was generally rejected by many of the residents. This idea was rejected to the point that it made it all the way to the Supreme Court. They gave their ruling, and it was not in favor of the residents. This means that over 3,000 families were to be relocated in 1958. The residents, including these children, were forced to move out. Once they moved out, they had to find new living spaces. 
This tore apart their small community, which had grown together during their time in Lincoln Square. They would not all be able to move to the same area again. Once the families moved out, architects Wallace K. Harrison, pictured first, and Max Abramovitz, pictured second, began making designs for the buildings. These buildings include the Metropolitan Opera House, the Philharmonic Hall, and the Ballet Theater. On May 14, 1959, construction began for the Lincoln Center. Dwight D. Eisenhower and thousands of others gathered to see the construction start. He actually dug the first hole during the beginning of the construction. It was also televised and talked about on the radio, showing how big of a project this really was. This is one of the designs for the Opera House, which was now set to begin construction. Many designs were made for each building until one was decided upon. Many people paid attention to these designs. This density chart now shows the Puerto Rican density within Lincoln Square. As you can tell, it is almost completely cleared out from what it used to be. This is because new housing was put up, but it was much too expensive for many of the Puerto Ricans who used to call it home. In September of 1962, the hall was opened and had a premiere showing, including multiple musical performances. The show sold out, and the audience included Jackie and John F. Kennedy and Secretary of State Dean Rusk. Lincoln Center is one of the most iconic performing arts centers in the world. Although it reaped much success, the families who live there and called it home will never forget the memories they have. No matter how successful it is, those families will never look at it the same. Although the urban renewal project completely changed the square, one thing stayed the same, its love for jazz. As David Frank, an author, said, quote, the Lincoln Center can be viewed as a brooding part of the neighborhood, but continuing its long traditions in jazz and the hall. The center is actually going through another urban renewal but of much less controversial style. They have added on to the center and renovated it since its completion. 